did you ever felt like it would be the best for you to just leave your current surroundings and travel as far away as possible? If that's the case, the best way to do so would have been to be on board of the Voyager 1 satellite which launched in 1977 and is currently the man-made object with the largest separation from planet Earth. It is more than 22 billion kilometers away from home and increases this distance by 61,000 kilometers per hour. You would definitely not like to be on board of this satellite because it's absolutely not designed to carry humans. It carries maybe the most famous golden disc ever made and probably the only disc that is not manufactured to be heard by human but by aliens. But let's start in the 70s where the space probes Voyager 1 and 2 were designed. Their original purpose was to study Jupiter and Saturn, the largest planets in our solar system. They were part of the NASA Voyager program and at NASA they decided that if Voyager 1 was successful at its primary task, it should also try to take pictures and gather information from Uranus and Neptune. And after that, it should continue its travel to the end of our solar system and even beyond that. And because they knew that it would travel further than any man-made object before, they thought that this space probe has the highest chance to get in touch with any kind of extraterrestrial species that might be out there. So they decided to put a disk on board of the Voyager 1 that contains information about humanity. And this is what NASA in 1977 thought is the most important to know about mankind. I wish to extend greetings and friendly wishes to all who may encounter this Voyager and receive this message. Ook België stuurt zijn groeten de ruimte in aan boord van de Voyager en hoopt dat deze boodschap als ook een good luck van de Simona Dipan. The record contains 55 languages from all around the world. Everyone just had a few seconds of time to record either the first part of interstellar communication or to say something that won't be ever heard again. Anyway, I guess it's an honor to be part of this project and to have your voice travel through the galaxy. But this disc included way more than voices. There was also actual music on it. But you would not expect this mix of music on a regular mixtape disc. They tried to represent the diversity of music. It starts with a classic song by German Johann Sebastian Bach. After that comes a folk music song from Indonesia, followed by two traditional songs from Africa. And then Johnny Be Good by Chuck Berry. And this song was very controversial at this time, with some claiming that rock music was adolescent. To which Carl Sagan, the chairman of the NASA committee, replied that there are a lot of adolescents on the planet. Just think about what songs would have been added if such a list would have been made again today. I think there would have been worse decisions than Johnny Be Good. But how should aliens ever be able to hear this if they would receive this unlikely message? It's simple. On the cover of the disc is a manual how to use it and it looks like this. Do you get it? Probably not without the explanation in English. But here's the thing. If even a human can't easily decode this, an alien would have a hard time too. We don't even know if they can hear or see anything, or if they would be able to interpret our peaceful words correctly. If they are able to, they would also find a lot of interesting information about humans on it. Because apart from earth music, voices and sound, they also send an hour of brain waves by a NASA employee. Pretty scary, right? And the last thing that they put on the disc was a collection of pictures. First, they needed to explain our mathematical definitions and physical units and after that, something about our solar system. Even more interesting are the pictures of actual human and their everyday life. If you think these pictures are outdated today, think about how humanity has changed in thousands of years then Voyager will still fly through the universe in search for a recipient for our message. And who knows, maybe at some point we will find one. Thanks for watching my video and if you liked it, I would be very happy if you would subscribe to my channel.